This video will demonstrate how to turn your VRChat avatar invisible. There are two different methods that I will be showing. One is simple and somewhat boring, and one is more advanced but much prettier. To begin, I will show the boring one. What you'll want to do is go to your Animation tab. What you'll want to do is go to your Animation tab, click on your avatar in the hierarchy, and create a new clip. We'll call this Invisibility. Click the three dots in the corner and lock so that it doesn't change what object you're selecting as you record animations. Click the Record button, click Body, and deselect Skin's Mesh Renderer. This will make your avatar invisible right off the bat without any sort of hoops to jump through. Unselect Record, unselect Preview, Go to your parameters, add a boolean for invisibility. Go to your menu, add a control for invisibility. Set it to toggle, and set the parameter to the invisibility parameter that you just set. In FX, add the parameter invisibility to the parameters tab over here. Then go to layers, create a new one, Invisibility. Set the weight to 1. Right click, create new state empty. We will call this off. Nothing else is done in this section. Create a new state empty. Name it on. In this one, we will set the invisibility animation to be the one that is played. Right click off, make transition to on. In the transition, set the condition invisibility equals true. If you'd like it to be immediate, go to transition duration and set it to zero and turn off as exit time. Do the same thing from on to off, except have this one, invisibility equals false. This will allow you to toggle your invisibility off and on. That is all that is required for the simple version. Now I will show the more advanced version. To begin, you will need the Poyomi Tune Shader. I will post a link to the latest Unity package in the description of this video. After you have downloaded that Unity package, right-click in your Explorer, Import Package, Custom Package. Find where you have saved the Poyomi Tune Shader and import it. This will bring up a list of all of the different assets that are in this package. Simply click Import. Importing all of these files may take a little while. Once all of these files are fully imported, I would recommend making a folder specifically for new materials. In this folder, you will create equivalent materials for each of the materials on your avatar. For example, mine has skin, metal, joints, and glow. Across all of these materials, you will want to set the shader to Poyomi Tune. Make sure that you set these new materials to your body's slots. For the most part, this shader should be fairly self-explanatory and easy to get your colors back to what you wanted them to be. Once you have all of your materials set up to look the way you want without any invisibility active, Go to the Rendering Preset and set it to Cutout. Then go down to Dissolve and tick it on. Also right-click Dissolve Alpha, as this will allow it to be modified at runtime. Set the dissolved color to Alpha 0. This makes it so that when Dissolve Alpha is set fully, your avatar is invisible. Now select a Dissolve Noise. Poyomi comes with many different textures that you can use to make this look the way you want. My personal favorite is the T noise number 17. As the dissolve alpha is increased, this looks like a hexagonal skin system that is turning invisible. However, this is rather wide. What I'd like to do is increase the tiling to make it a bit more scaled. While this does look nice, I'd like to give it more color. 
I will go to the Edge Gradient section and set one of my presets, which simply runs with all of the different colors of the rainbow. Unfortunately, though this does make it look a little bit more colorful, it's not much. So I will increase the edge width to ensure that the entirety of the scale is given color. This gives it a much more vibrant coloration as it disappears. Now that this is all set, we can set the dissolve alpha to zero for normal visibility. As with the simpler invisibility method, we will add a new parameter of invisibility as a boolean. Then in the main menu, add a control for invisibility. Set to type toggle, triggering the invisibility boolean. We will now make an animation for turning invisible. Go to wherever you store your animations, right click, create animation, and we will name it invisibility. Drag this onto your avatar. Click the avatar, then go to the animation tab. Find invisibility in the drop down. If you instead prefer to create your animation using the create new clip option here, make sure that you go to the stored animation and untick loop time. Otherwise, it will continue to loop the animation repeatedly, turning you visible and invisible in sequence. Select your avatar and the animation tab to bring up invisibility. Make sure that lock is selected through this three dot icon. Click record. Determine how long you want your invisibility to take to be fully triggered. Let's say two seconds. Click that location on your animation tab graph, then go to body and set the dissolve alpha to one. This will set a keyframe of being fully invisible at the two second mark while being completely visible at the zero second mark. After setting this, deactivate record, deactivate preview, and go back to your project tab. Go to your parameters, add a boolean for invisibility. Go to your menu, add a control for invisibility. Set it to toggle, and set the parameter to the invisibility parameter that you just set. Find your FX controller and open up parameters. Add a boolean to the parameter list for the same title that you gave it in the parameters window here. Go to layers, create a new layer called invisibility. Make sure that the weight is set to one, then create a new state in the flowchart area. We'll call this off. There is no further action required on this animator state as it will default to being uncloaked. Create a new animator state called on. Here we will set the motion to the invisibility animation. Right click off and make transition to on. Under conditions, ensure that invisibility is true to transfer to from off to on. Do the same going back from on to off except in this one, make invisibility equal false. If you would like the animation to begin immediately, go to the settings of your transition, set transition duration to zero, and turn off has exit time. Bring up the VR Chat SDK show control panel and select build and test. If you have not already manually locked your Poyomi shaders, this will pop up. If this is fine, just click OK. Locking the materials may take a few minutes. Once the test avatar is finished building, open up VRChat to test and make sure you got everything correct. Select your test avatar and locate a mirror. You should now be able to bring up your menu and turn invisible. Have fun!